Hello everybody and welcome to Seaborn Understanding the Weird Parts. Um, this is sort of an addendum to Seaborn Understanding the Weird Parts because this came out a little bit after uh, I recorded those videos. This is the box and plot. So let's start off by importing Seaborn and going ahead and importing a data set and showing off box and plot. So box and plot, as you can see, looks pretty similar to a box plot, uh, but in lots of ways, I think it's, in, it's so much more useful. Um, and why so? So first, let me sort of show you what box and plot does. Uh, like a box plot, it goes ahead and has that sort of initial little box in the center. Uh, this line is the medium. So this is sort of if you lined your data set up and you sort of uh, took that halfway point, uh, where would that be? Uh, we have the uh, 25th percentile. So if you lined it up and then you chopped off the 25th, what would be the minimum value at that point? And this is the 75th percentile. So very similar to a box plot. Uh, what a box plot would also have would be these whiskers, which uh, would specify uh, some, some number of inner quartile ranges. Uh, but what the box and plot does instead uh, is quite interesting. Uh, it shows you the different um, uh, percentiles of your distribution. I'm not exactly sure how to, how to specify it uh, in a uh, uh, exponentially decreasing way. So. Uh, we've got the uh, median, we've got the uh, 75th percentile. Uh, this would be the, uh, the 1 minus 1 8th percentile. Uh, this would be the 1 minus 1 16th percentile. So basically, uh, we have 1 8th of the data that's left to the right. We have 1 16th of the data that's left to the right. We have 1 32nd of the data that's left uh, to the right. Um, and it continues on. So why is this useful? Uh, you know, it's interesting, right? You know, there's like computer scientists might sort of get all geeky about it because it seems to be some powers of two nonsense going on. Um, the reason why it's useful is because data is often distributed power law. So this means that you have these long fat tails on the, on the right or the left side of your distribution. Uh, for example, you would have it on total bill. Uh, what this means is that there are lots of people that go ahead and sort of purchase things normally, but then there's a couple of people um, that purchase inordinately more than the rest. Um, and the way that this falls off is not uh, exponentially. So you know, sort of the different or the difference between something that's normally distributed and something that's parallel distributed is that the extremes don't fall off uh, exponentially, but they fall off in, in some sort of super linear way. So for example, they fall off in a, you know, a people that spend twice as much or people that make twice as much of you consist of one fourth of the population that make as much as you. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool. Um, so because all this data is distributed in a parallel way, we needed a better way to display these outliers, to display these long tails. Uh, box plots just don't do it at all. Um, they show you that 75th percentile, that's the only thing that they show you. And then if you're dealing with data sets with long tails, with box plots you'll often get these, these mass or these you know, big whiskers, but then this massive stream of outlying data points outside of them. So box and plots sort of you know, one-up them and basically say, hey, most data in the world isn't normally distributed. So let's not go ahead and use old-fashioned box plots. Let's go ahead and use uh, these box and plots, which will help us view power law distributions. So if you're ever looking at data that has a long right tail, box and plots are a much better tool uh, for visualizing it. Um, previously, what people would do would, would be uh, plotting the box plot of the log of the data to go ahead and, and in some ways make it more normally distributed. Uh, similarly to box plot, a box and plot has all, and violin plot is another one that I've also done that's pretty similar to this. A box and plot has all of those goodies that you'd expect. Uh, you can go ahead and you can uh, view uh, the, uh, the, uh, the total bill, and you can view it across different days. So on the x-axis, you can vary it. You can also add a hue if you want to go ahead and, and visualize things in sort of a more uh, complex categorical way, which is kind of cool. Of course, you can also use facet grid for that. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can specify the order uh, in which, uh, for example, the times occur. Um, it's very similar to box plot in those ways. That being said, if you are using box plot and you are trying to visualize data that is long tailed, uh, box and plot is, is a very exciting new tool that sort of Seaborn provides out of the box. It's a pun. Ha. Huh. Anyways, I hope this was useful. I got very excited about it. I'm sorry, it's such a short video, but I think that it, it's definitely worth sort of uh, the people that subscribe to me and, and sort of more people out there sort of knowing about it and knowing why it's such an important tool. Um, as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, this is it and thanks from Data Talks.